Hello, this is You Got Cold Yogurt. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to play Tell Me Why in VR using UEVR Injector Mod. Uh, we're going to play this on MetaQuest 3 wireless to my 4090 PC. Okay, all right. So let's check out over here. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, let's see. Let me see. Let me select. Uh, you know what? Let's see if we can check it now. Uh, let's see. We we'll find right here. Tell me why. Then inject. Okay. Okay. I'm in VR now. Okay. Oh, uh, so let me uh let me check. I, uh, um. See, hey, what? Okay, all right. Don't see it. Um, let me see this one. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. Excellent. All right, yeah. Oh shoot, here we go. Hmm. This overlay keeps shifting. Uh, let's see. Come on, come right here. Move this down. Maybe make it a little bigger. Like this. Is that okay? Okay, I guess. All right. Okay. Uh. Okay, great. Come on. Okay. Oh wow. Oh, well, that's cool. You could you could make the um the UI menu transparent. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. I see will work. Okay, cool. First, come on. Great. Let's see what main. This one. Let's look at runtime. Open XR. Resolution scale. Input. Uh, Unreal. Native stereo. Okay. Oh, cool. Wait. Let's. Let's take a quick look at the settings. Video, camera. Yeah, really. Okay, screen resolution. Do I change it? Um, how does it increase it? That's what I have, right? Um, Display mode, full screen. I heard window is better. Okay. Unlimited graphics quality, custom. Uh, post process, very high. Okay. Texture quality, low. Okay, very high. Okay, we're at the highest quality now. Okay. Uh, I guess we can apply. Okay, let's go back. Uh, this is B. Okay. It, this this menu screen is not VR. Okay. All right. So uh, okay, let's go. Continue. Also, my first time playing this on the 4090. You're seeing what I'm seeing, right? Okay. Okay, it's more solid. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at them. Okay. So it looks basically the same, except extra added detail. I guess to fill in more details. 
Uh, this looks pretty good. Has some like shine. Okay. Oh, ATM. Let's go. Let's go outside later. Let's take a quick look around. Oh wait, let me reset to myself. Okay. What's the fruits? Okay, let's watch. Okay, I see. Has more like. I don't know how you say it. Lighting source on the um, that giant pumpkin. Okay, I, I, I do see the shine, like the shine of the watermelon. Like the glossiness, the reflection. Okay, that is good, that's good. Just a little extra detail. I, oh, wait, what is this? Why am I feeling this? It means I'm, I'm close to something? This looks really good. Man. Whoa, why is it vibrating like this? <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on. I need to know uh, settings, controls, gamepad. Okay, okay. Look, look around. RT is bond focus reply. Look around. Interact. Book of goblins. Oh my god, wait. I have a, I'm tethered to my battery pack. <laughs> okay, alright. Uh, wait, what was the. Oh god. What was the bond. RT for bond focus. Okay. Okay, I'm sensing something? Oh, right here! Oh my god. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Okay. All right. This is highly detailed. I see a lot of like freckles on her face. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah, this is add more like surface detail. Uh. Now how do I do the bond focusing? Oh God. Oh my God. Let's go. More bond focusing. And I think you got okay. You got to. What does that mean? God, I do this. Is it X? Hey, hey, remember? I press A. Hey guys, you all done yet? Excuse yeah, me. mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm, I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, what's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. Why are all games scared? <laughs> now. What happened? Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Debts? Huh. Uh oh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? My version? Okay. Need some pills. Need hey, Tom. There's I something need. I can help you with? We have it under the counter. You got anything for my, uh, <laughs> nervousness? Uh. How's Tessa today? She looked a bit overloaded earlier. She's a real busy bee. Ever since I started campaigning, she's picked up the slack around I can't here. Move around. She's practically running the place. I hate to break it to you, but she always kind of has run the place. Well, now that's a matter of opinion. Okay. Um. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Christensen Canyon. It's not an amazing upgrade, it's more surf. Oh my god. What's that? What's that? What's that? I'm sensing something? Where? Where? 
Ué. Beleza, missão. Here? It's crazy. You have to go in the right of foot. Okay, remember. Uh, Mom? Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne? The gambler? Can we talk? Gambler? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? Get her head. <laughs> okay. Which is it going to be? Alright, uh... Wait, there's more? Wait. Please, Jeez. let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Tower's memory. You hearing this? Marianne was looking for a fight. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. She's Miss Wayne. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your dad? What debts? is it going to be? No, Tessa was. She went on Jack Thompson. Oh okay. Gotta choose. Please, Mary let's just talk Anne. for a few minutes. Okay? Mary Ann was angry. Or. I want to talk to you Tessa, now, Tessa? or do I need to start calling in your debts? Oh, uh, that's... Ooh. I want to talk to you now, or do I need to start calling in your debts? Tessa? I want... Which is it going to be? Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. All right, we'll okay? go this, all right? Support Please, our... let's just talk for a few minutes, okay? Please, Marianne, I'm just trying. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help. Not from I you, not from testing. anyone else in this fucking Marianne, town. Marianne. I'm done with all of you. You're done with the food I give you? The Whoa. fuel? Maybe you are, but the kids are my children, Tessa. Mine, not yours. Please, let's not do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. Oh boy. What's going on? I'm still skeptical, but okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. But once they got into the office, they both went at it hard. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear anything after she cranked up the music. Mm. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Okay. Okay, alright. Uh, this, this, this. Okay, alright. Looks really good on the. Yeah, I didn't know it's a more of a. You know, the laminate glass on it. Bowels. Okay. 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 More surface. Is that maybe that's ray tracing? Good thing. Okay. I'm just guessing. Oh, coffee maker. All right, coffee maker. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> oh, it's right outside. All right, all right, let's go here and talk to Tessa. All right, oh, it's open. Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm, I'm good. Looking for I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Change. Hey. Man, Tessa keeps track of everything in these notebooks. Like what? Any loans she's given out, the stuff the she lets regulars take for free, even her tithes. And then what? Stories she starts of passing out more heads that people don't pay her back. Uh, I think she just likes country. having a record. She's gonna hand it off to St. Paul like a resume. Uh, right. Take? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. What's this doing here? Yeah, it's not yours. 
I can probably make that. Man, Tessa keeps track of everything in these notebooks. Like what? Any loans she's given out, the stuff she lets regulars take for free. What's that? Even her tithes. And then what? She starts passing out horse heads if people don't pay her back. Uh, I Something think she just like likes that. having a record. She's gonna hand it off to St. Paul like a resume. Okay, okay. Oh, I can't grab that. Alright, there you go. That's it, that's it. That's it. Get the carpeting, okay. No, looks pretty good. Is the light bulb in there? Yes. Okay, okay, let's help, let's help, let's help. Is there something I can do for you? Um. Let's get to the point. Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself, but you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. Let's go back. A duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It Definitely was on all detail. the time. What are you thinking? We've like, been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something guess, really emotional. Like, Maybe listening to it will detail. trigger something. <laughs> You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. And we bring Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. What? What song? Wait, wait. Let's just go back here. Let me see. Just the any clues here. See? Look back. Clues. Off buzzer hole. I don't know what that means. Fish hole. Week of November 2 to November 8. Michael, Allison, off. Thursday and Friday? I don't know. Okay. Let's go. Hmm. 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 Okay, let's go. Can we go talk to you? Can we talk to you? We should go talk to Tom, right? Okay. See if he remembers the song. Oh, you Tom? Tom Vici, right? Okay. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? Uh... This might be a weird question, but... Do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time? <laughs> How could I forget? Ugh. I think she's still got the CD back here. Right. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Uh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. Was a bit cheesy berries? for my tastes. This is it, right? That's it. I think so. I think so. <laughs> Whoa. I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seen what I'm seeing? Yeah. Should we check this one out? It's cool, the medicals. <laughs> Mom, stop! Dancing. That's Dancing. so embarrassing! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? Tessa, <laughs> come join me. I know you love this song. No, oh, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. 
forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? Ah, uh, even the floor looks pretty good. You think there's more memories lurking around? I don't know. I think Let's see. In the red, in the red sheet. You're seeing what I'm seeing, right? Look up and feel something. The kids keep pestering me for these candies. They're so expensive. Oh, just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh, no. I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay, whatever you want. There, happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close. Like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should go find that notebook she was holding. Pretty sure I saw one marked 2004 in the office closet earlier. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. I think they're all piled up That's in Tessa's cool. office somewhere. Is it this one? Okay. okay. Yeah, it's some kind of reflection on the window. Like, um, find that. Where you go? You gotta go back to the office? This is my room. It, it turned off. <laughs> okay. Wait. But I feel, I feel something. Hey, come on. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help at the store. I needed help two hours ago. <gasps> Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Marianne. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Marianne? I don't know. I saw it in Marianne's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe con Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. Uh, I'm good. Something. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Right there, no? What is that? Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? Uh, what? Read? Uh, save a D-pad functionality. Yes. Elijah, June 24, uh, June, $24 for, for meal at the restaurant. Paid off, September. $11. She plays Mabel in Witches no, of Eldom? What? No way. Why would I know about some silly show yeah. for teenage girls? Uh, more D-pad functionality. Uh, September, $20 for gas, paid in full. All right. Same thing. Oh. That, I didn't know. Okay, that's it, that's it. Alright. Uh, just keeping a ledger. Okay. I think that I don't think there's any more. I think I said alright. Alright, let's snoop over my computer. Again, to backing up. <laughs> okay, it's uh, back. Tessa, is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Okay. Uh, what? Good. Yes. I'm gonna claim it. Uh, Virtue nice. Seekers Youth Camp. Wait, Vert what? Is that what she recommended for Tyler? I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. What oh, is a lot big letter. I just got back from my work. Work Asian. I 
I need to scroll down. Whoa, why is the scroll? <laughs> 18 Tesla. Where is that thing? Look at what? Wait, wait. Wait, what? Question mark? What? Okay. Collectibles. Wait, that's all we can find. Gotcha, okay. The Crafty Goblin. We got this one. Listen. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Say that again. Collectibles. Exodus. The pious pelican is the princess's generous friend. She has a magical beak that is always full of food and never empties. Okay. What's the objective? Find evidence to confront Tesla. Okay. Gotcha. What, what is that church thing? I Do we have a map function? Can I see church from here? Is this going to be supernatural? Oh, this is supernatural. <laughs> okay, let me see. Let's we should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. Yeah. I think they're all piled up in Tessa's office somewhere. We... I got it. No? Let's talk. Is there something I can do for you? Uh, Hold on. You sure we've seen everything? Oh, okay, no, no. Uh hmm. No, maybe not. Yeah, oh boy. let's make sure we've been thorough. Okay. We have to go to the church? <laughs> Alright, that makes sense. Wait, you know, one more time, look over there. Uh, hey, hey, hey. hey Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something calendar. that I forgot. Is there a way to uh, turn the book? Let me see. Uh, turn. Oh, God. What's the turn? Wait, what, what is that? Okay, turn. There's only two pages, though. Wait, what? Let's read this part again. Uh, Gas, all right, gas, okay. Oh, there's more pages! God. No show. It looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October 2004. Five months before that night. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. Four dollars gas paid off. Help her in Russian. No show. 104 dollars. What? Okay. 140 dollars for washing machine repair. Okay. Check balance. Oh my god. No show. Not returning calls. No. Whoa. Okay, she's angry then. Um, so for a couple of months. Wow. Any more? No, it's three. No. Okay. There you go. What are we waiting for? Let's go talk to Tessa. Okay, okay. Why so pushy? <laughs> My twin. My twin. Oh. Is there something I can do for you? So what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? Hmm, yes. What a lucky coincidence. Uh... We're back. With details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. Marianne was having one of her days. You were trying to talk, but she wasn't cooperating. The two of you started arguing, and you went in the office and cranked up that song you both loved. Hmm, and when was that? 
Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. <laughs> oh, are you crazy? I don't remember. I didn't know you were... What for say? April 2004. Isn't that when she stopped trying to pay off her debts? Mm-mm. No, that doesn't sound uh. right. We were still on good terms then. <laughs> no! So you did end up on bad terms at some point? When? I honestly can't pinpoint the exact moment. But she got harder and harder to be around. Wow. I'm sure we never fought about money though. I, I could see that she was struggling. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. Remember the day she was supposed to help you get ready for Bible study? And she showed up hours late and totally wasted? Was that it? I'm sorry. I'm really trying hard, but I just can't remember. What Your mother that? acted erratic for months. We fought many times. Was it ever about me? It was always about a lot of things. She was struggling with everything at the end. Did you try to convince Marianne to send Tyler to some kind of program? No. And I think you should go now. Tessa, I'm here to figure out if Marianne tried to kill me because of who I am. Do you get that? I do. I just... Then why won't you help me? I truly don't understand what went on in her mind that day. And it will always be my deepest regret that I didn't see it coming. I hope you find your answers. I really do. I pray every night for you too. Oh, but I... I have a lot on my plate right now, so I need to ask you to leave. Uh, sure, we'd hate to be a burden. Can we have our groceries? Ah, uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. What are you thinking? Just trying to wrap my brain around all that. She led us on a bit of a conversational snipe hunt, didn't she? Yeah, but it's kind of an answer, right? She didn't want to admit what they were fighting about, which makes me think it was me. You spooked her with that talk about the program. I think Marianne really was trying to figure out how to support me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge. You may be right. Yeah. She stood up for me, Allison. She was still crazy Marianne, but she saw me. I feel lighter. Like I've been carrying something around for the last 10 years and now it's gone. I, I'm really happy for you. But that just opens a whole new box of Pandora's, doesn't it? Yeah, a whole damn shipping crate full. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go. Hey, this is Cafe. Except for a distance. This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. 
<laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. What a hero. Anyway, he's probably in his office upstairs. This is a quiet police station. Damn. They still got this creepy mascot, huh? LT4. What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. He's Delos Crossing's longest serving officer. That's very strong. Uh, oh, read? This is, read what? Hold on. I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. Private? Have fun. Meet me in the open space when you're done. Station. Oh, there's a phone. What? Me? Okay. Please wait in line. Thank you. I need to look. I am the law. <laughs> okay. But I need to freshen up. Okay, no. Home sweet home. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. It's freezing in here. Oh, more memories? I feel I feel something. Where are you coming from? Now it's what wait. Remember? Oh my god. It's here. Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find yeah. some other place. I thought you were still here when it happened. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. I'm trying to examine. I can't believe they're still. That's shopping. Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Uh, Crazy D? The woman who set fire to her ex's trailer? Allegedly set fire. Oh no, it was her birthday. I completely forgot. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jet? Yep. He, uh, he died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Oh, damn. Poor D. Mm. Oof, I should have gotten her something. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. Oh. Slap dogs? Okay. Chocolates. Alright. Okay, I think that's it. Something's in the way. Something's in the way. Huh. Why do they... <laughs> Man, they are never gonna catch this guy. What exactly did he do? This guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes. Asshole snagged a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, I was picturing an actual mailbox bandit. You know, like... Hopping around on a post with a little mask on the door. Huh? You know, the mailbox is the bandit. Sorry, it was a bad joke. Tone down. Uh, Jervisy salad. Uh huh. See, when we turn the pages, I'm using D-pad functionality. <laughs> All 
nine. Uh, okay, what else? Need to read. Okay. Uh, what else? Is that? Look at that. Whoa! It's hard to make out. Okay. Damn it. It's locked. Well, what did you expect, dum dum? It's a police station. Get ah, uh, this, this is what ask Alaska looks like. Oh shoot, it's close to Russia. What do you know? Still locked. Mm. Eddie must have locked it already. Is there a way to move faster? Uh, wait, we didn't check on the other side. Uh, I need to look. Look. Whew. That is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Bellows Crossing. Still locked. We have to go upstairs then. Tyler, you coming? It's light. It's light. Who was the armor? Need to gear up. Wear a bulletproof vest. <sighs> or haptic vest. I'm guessing this is where they stash all the guns and stuff. Yep. But I don't need to tell you that it's off limits. You think we could find some files about Marianne in the archives? I don't know, but it's off limits anyway. Maybe Eddie would show us her file? Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. Let's go here first. What, what, what's he doing? Is, is he really making a phone call? I have an anti-cheat. Look, look, look. Oh, what's he doing? He's just hanging out there. It's a suspect. He's a suspect. <laughs> okay. All right. <sighs> Keys. Can we walk in here? I don't think so. Nope. Alright. Alright, let's check for the armor. Alright. Hey! Oh my god. Alright. Uh. One more memories? Okay, wait. Right.
You know, I really thought I'd lock those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. <sighs> Something's in the way. Where is the break room? Is this the break room? Did Brown just flat out at the Um, I didn't notice. But I mean, he's probably feeling awkward since, you know, you didn't take his gift. Yeah, I feel Great. something. He's making it weird. This is, is... can't open. Wait. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's a break, that's a break room. Okay, let's go in. The locker room? Oh. Let's do this. I look at these notes. Uh, talk. Hey, that coffee is sounding real good. Where's the break room? Allison, how about that coffee we were talking about? Hold on, we gotta sneak. It's locked. Officer Vincenzi? Vincenzi. Yep, it's locked. Hey, it's is this Crazy D's locker? You okay? I'm just feeling a little nauseous. Ooh, that's gotta be a new record. Four days. Oh. Hmm. All right. Wash your own. How is this still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Uh. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? You okay? Honestly? No. Do you ever regret? No. No way. Well... Maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? Check out this masterpiece. <laughs> you made it? Uh-huh. I glued it to the pot one day when I was bored, and nobody has bothered to peel it off. I still feel something. Wait, I think I went to the room. Where is he? This is heavier than I expected. <clears throat> okay, okay. You know, there was some memories here. Uh, need to look. I'm not that hungry. <laughs> Check out this masterpiece. <laughs> you made it? Uh-huh. I glued it to the pot one day when I was bored, and nobody has bothered to peel it off. So, isn't Brown waiting for us? We should head back to his office. It's the first time I've been in here since... at night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. 
That vase, they glued it back together. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Ah, this is. I see something. Wait, what? I'm Oh, that's like a figurine. Okay. If I can get it. No. Well. No, yeah. Huh. What's that back there? No way. Have you been hiding back here all this time? The Ice King. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to move the UI a little bit smaller. Uh, is it runtime? Yeah, right here. There you go, just a little bit. I want to reduce him. What would I do? Did I make it extra? Hmm. Let's see what happened. Oh my god, it's, just, it's really laggy now. Uh, this is detail more though. Let's see, I, yeah, I just. I just I can't really get close. Alright, you know what? Stream my computer. Uh, let's get that. I thought one five. I don't know what happened. Yeah, yeah, I see this is some performance issues now. Um, I'm very ultra already. But I can't tell. I can't tell. Why you ultra? Uh, you know what? You don't need to be that ultra. <laughs> okay, let's see. Just a little bit. <laughs> okay. All right. Not bad. Talk. So, isn't Brown waiting okay, for okay. us? Go, go, go. We should head back to his office. Okay, okay, let's go. go. All right. Wait. I feel something. What's that? Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. You okay? Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would too. Arctic puppies. Leaks and snow and lightning. Hold on. Alright, let's go up, right? Wait, can we use can't use keys here, right? Alright. Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Uh, hey, you remember this guy? Of course. Tyler Ronan. The prodigal son returns. Yep. Look at you. I didn't even recognize you at first. I heard that a lot today, Chief Brown. Chief Brown. No need for that kind of formality, not with family. Huh. How you finding Delos Crossing? Change much? Uh, same dump, different year. <laughs> well, we're no Juno, but lots of folks feel at home here. It's gotta be good to be back with your sister, huh? Yeah, it's been a long time coming. <sighs> Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. 
Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh yeah? Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for weeks. Maybe a month before. Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? Looks super no. Clear. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Yeah. Never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Pretty shiny, the badge. Usually. It's the other way around. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. <laughs> Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, or police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. But you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you going to help us? Or are you going to be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal, and you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please, let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Ah. Uh, Jesus Christ, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Eddie no. was just doing his best to protect me. Oh, no. To That's protect no. his family. I thought I was your family. You oh, are. Sure. Seven years apart didn't change that. Ten years apart didn't either. But Eddie's family oh. too. Look, we've all fucked up. We've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. Mm. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. What is this? Okay. Okay. Whoa, what's this? Stop! Oh my god, no, 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 no. Allison! Allison! Oh. 
Twist. Uh, story twist. Oh god. Uh. Uh. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, let me see. Okay. So y you see the uh, what's that? The credit roll. But I'm still outside. I can still see it. I see uh the mad the mad hatter. I'm above the man hat. Oh shoot, that's Lil Tyler. Where's uh Where's his sister? I don't see his sister. Okay. Okay, so this is it for this one? I think it's a part two. I think I have a part two here. Uh uh. Shocking ending. Okay, uh, there is a Mura. I do see a Mura. Uh, but it's different. It's uh, it's kind of not very not noticeable. It's like clear, like a clear, clear, mirror, not clear mirror, but more whitish mirror. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do notice it over here. I don't notice it in game, just in this scene. It's like a dirty, like a dirty lens. Yeah. Not black though, it's like a... Um, <laughs> can, can I see him down there? Can I, 
can't really go too low on the floor. Yeah, okay, I see him. He looks like one of those um Nazgul. Okay. Outside the barn. That's the little little tiny one. I don't see her though. Hmm. Okay, well. Uh, boy. Let's see. Mocap. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Mocap is really good. You can really capture. Looks like 97%. So it looks like. Uh, on the. Um, my 4090 is. Uh, uh, yeah, it's definitely see more detail. Okay. Like right now, I'm looking at the outside of the barn and I see like the um, soil and has water. No, it's not natural, but it looks cool. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, I think this is too long. Uh, okay, let's see. Allison was furious. Allison was furious. Tyler, this. I don't know what? Allison? Talent disregarded Eddie and his gift. 74% accepted the ring. Oh, I am part of that. <laughs> 11, 11%. What is funny? Allison was delighted to solve the prince's riddle with her brother. Uh, <laughs> busted open the door puzzle. Okay. Tyler felt supported by Allison's trust at the store. Wow, okay. It's like almost half and half. More towards Tyler. Okay, so I chose pretty good. <laughs> Tyler sensed a rift between him and Allison. Oh. <laughs> God. I messed up. Tyler earned Sam's respect. 5% corner. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Tessa empathized with twins about Marianne. Uh, okay. Twenty nine percent antagonized Tessa. Okay. Eddie Brown. Eddie felt validated by Allison's family plea when she sided with him at the station. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So what now? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. Well, you, if you could do the crime... <laughs> if you do the time, then do the crime. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's continue. Okay. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, there lived oh, a pair so of crafty goblins. Crafty goblins. Okay. okay. The crafty goblins did everything together. Until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. <laughs> Ten years later, they were finally reunited, and together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. Long gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. Yeah, I do see him, bro. 
Oh, shoot. <laughs> Tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> Ice cream. All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up! Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, okay. but a wan woman, alone in a deep a and ancient woman. wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure, and her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Mom. I love you, too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. What a waste. <laughs> it is a murder. Allison! Ollie! Oh. Allison, help! What? You gotta grab a scissor? How did police not, not know that she was uh, killed? I don't understand. It's a murder weapon right there. Oh, I see. Grabbed it. Put a fingerprint. Oh, she looks weird. I don't see the mirror. Is this like a filter? Like a... Oh my god. That's not real though. No kid would stab her. Grab. child really kill a parent? Is it possible? I don't know. Yes, is it just... Yeah. 
Closing a chapter of our lives, you know? And instead, we've spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Mm. Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. Up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh. Can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. He's really touching. He, um... Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Yeah, he took the fall. Mint chocolate sister. chip, That's... two gallons. Let's do this. Goblin faces keep, dollar sign is donate or sell, and trash can as well, trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. Everywhere I look, there's just stuff, stuff, and more stuff. Marianne the Magpie. Hello, ancient broken down machines. That will be the future owner's problem. Oh, it says bathroom. What was that saying? Place sticky note? This game? Oh, the trash. Oh, they're gonna sell the place. Okay. This looks. Yeah, it looks really good. Uh, the darks. Uh, it's, just, it's, not, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Cause in real life, I don't think in real life I see it really black black. This looks. It's really deep. Hey! <laughs> it's really deep contrast. want to keep anything in here, right? <sighs> no. 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 Oh, this is the bathroom where she was talking. Like, oh. hmm. This is a mirror. Look at that. Mirror. We are now. Okay. Wait, this is jump? No. <laughs> What's this? Uh, look. Wait. Okay. Wow, the blue looks really good. Oh, yeah, it's Half-Life Alex Wally. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's probably due to the um, the forty ninety. So, yeah, you want you want the best. You have to get the forty ninety. What currently? Um, what about that dresser? If you want your towels to rot, go for it. Uh, for sex. Maybe someone could clean it up. It's well made. Your call. I can't move. Uh, 
I keep it. Keeping it. Oh, really? You got an option to keep all the trash? That's, that's a lot. Did I have to do that? Look? Okay. What? Ancient appliances. You are staying here. Oh, she's Hello. pushing me. That oven Maybe. looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. Wait. I don't, I don't get it. Keep or do what? Read. Uh, dump in cake. Uh, every day. Okay. Dump in cake. Okay. Oh, that's cool. All right, three. Salmon chowder. Pickle jars. Okay. Yeah, I'm quite confused on what to keep, what to throw. Let's see. All right. The sticker means the trash. Right. You hungry? We have <laughs> a whole lot of nothing. Ah, uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. Pickle. Ugh, why'd you have to remind me of that? I don't know how you ate that stuff. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter pickle with ranch. Mm -mm. Peanut so good. butter with ranch. China. Oh, place. Okay. Okay, okay. Do we keep this? Oh my god. That's it. What? What? What is that? Is it rug? Oh. Ugh. Gross stain is gross. Uh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. Well, I seem to recall a time you stole an egg, put it on the couch, and sat on it because you wanted a pet chicken. Huh. We don't talk about that. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, at least I did- I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah. Still deciding what to do with them. Uh... They're happy memories. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... But... You remember how I'd spend hours in front of the mirror just gathering all my hair behind my head? Sure. Dressed like this, with the long hair, it was like no one could really see me, you know? I was the invisible boy. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Okay. Let's take, uh... I'm sorry. That sounds really rough. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm like a thousand times better. But I've got a ways to go before I'm comfortable taking my shirt off. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. And just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. Mm, well, Alright, what's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. What's that one? Oh, oh, we can't select anymore? Okay. Alright. No, hey, no what? Why am I stuck? Hey, what? What am I supposed to do? Wait, wait what? <laughs> oh, it looks really great on TV. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, TV looks really, really, really contrasting. Very, uh, in here, it's like kind of gamey. Mm. Uh, I mean, like, like, um, slightly softer. Right. Is this a glitch? What, what is going on? <laughs> I can't do anything. Oh, I can look at this. Oh, okay. Oh, is that Eddie? That's Eddie. And now what? Okay, yeah, I was confused who Eddie was when, when we talked about Elliot, <laughs> Eddie in the beginning. 
Okay, Eddie's uh, their uncle, police officer. All right, uh, B to leave. Anything else? Oh man, I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on, mm. smile, like Alex. Oh, with memories now? No more pictures? I wanna look at the... Look at the baby picture. Oh, not baby, but... Alright, let's see. Who is it? Over here? What, what, what's that? What's that? There's things here. I can't... No oh, look. Hey. Hey, what? What? Whoa! Uh, oh, we got a collectible. What's this doing down Goblins here? Goblins were here. Is that gum? Uh, I guess that was probably me. Okay. Uh, new collectible. Let's leave. Let's, let's get under. Let's get out under from under the table. All right. Anything else? Maybe here. Okay, let's look. What we have a pet. <sighs> I completely forgot we had a pet vole for a few days. Pet Poor vole? Volcano. She was in rough shape when we found her. Good thing Marianne actually knew what she was doing with injured pet wildlife. Vole. Is that is that like a little lizard? Remember, okay. Lasagna! Lasagna! Finish your salad first. Thank you, Tessa. You're a lifesaver. No, oh, don't worry about it. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch, too. Oh, you're quite right, love. Uh, she can have my corn. Yeah, I don't know what mold is. Is that, is that a mouse or is that one. a little lizard? I think it's a mouse. Too. <laughs> okay. Looks like Tessa didn't have that broom up her ass back then. Again? Why? There's nothing on there. Okay, no way. Let's leave. There's another one. Uh, this one. Try to get this one. Look. <laughs> Come on. Look. <laughs> what to do with this? Uh, oh my God. Uh, 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 let's keep. <laughs> Tables are expensive. And besides, this one's an Allison and Tyler original. Maybe we should keep everything. How about that? So we don't sell the house. Okay, remember. Remember. Come on, honey, smile like Allison. Hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. Oh, it's called a fish. My sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. Mm. Okay. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table. Hmm. Crummy table and wobbly chairs. Oh, we keep everything. Why not? A nice tablecloth could hide the stains. A tablecloth? Ooh, fancy lady. Oh, oh god, that's what's that smell? Huh? Oh, what's that smell? <laughs> Over here, right? What? Not here. She's looking uh, here, remember. Oh, what's that smell? Oh, Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, <laughs> yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or it could have been Stinky Pants Sam. <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. Mm. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. Uh, 
inside that thing. Let's go upstairs. And what do you know? More stuff. More stuff. What's that? What's that? Look downstairs. But yeah. soft. What light through yonder? Oh, wait. It's just you. Clever. Clever. There's a paper plane stuck in the ceiling light. Maybe it has a secret message from our past selves. Find something to knock it down. Hmm. hmm. I could use that ball. Ball right there. Okay. Let's see if I can still do this. Five bucks says you miss. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I win. Pay up. Oh, shut up. Okay. You don't want to get that leather? Okay. Okay. This is a funny, funny game. Oh, okay, I'm saying. Hey. Baloney! <laughs> Guess who I found? Baloney! Pally Belly Baloney? Why, yes. I would love to have a tea party with you. Again. For the third time today. Hmm. That one was we should gather up all our old toys and give them to charity. What's that? I said we should give our old toys to charity. Oh, good idea. Except for maybe one or two. <laughs> Softy. Those paddles are pretty cool. Dibs. Hmm. Unless you use the paddle to knock down the plane. I'm gonna knock down the plane now. Hey, Tyler. Pays for horses, Allison. <laughs> it drove me so crazy when Marianne said that. Will this ever stop feeling so weird? Mm. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, What's this? I uh, read. There's Ollie. How are you? Okay. Uh, tea party. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> hey. Okay. So long, trusty bunk beds. A. What? Me? Congratulations. You found the map that will lead you on the known mishap. Follow my trail of twinkling stones and perchance you'll escape the unknown. Okay. So, you gonna come back down to help me or what? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Hey, Tyler! How does five little monkeys go again? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell down and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor. The doctor said no more monkeys jump. Hey, did you finish packing upstairs? Nope. Oh, There's way too wait, much wait, junk wait. to sort through. Wait, we just stopped the song. Shoot. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. Oh my god. <laughs> Oops, I forgot. Which is the coffee table? Huh? I, I, I don't know where the co is. This a coffee table? I, I don't know what is this the the coffee table? Oh, this one. Oh boy. God. Sister. I mean, brother. All right. I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. <clears throat> I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? Uh, yeah. Is that okay? Sure. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, mm. I'll keep it. Everything. Yeah. Okay. I really like that armchair. Oh. 
Made a look sharp next to your tree stump nightstand. I'll be the most stylish mountain man ever. But I was actually thinking it should go in your library. Library? We may not even have a <laughs> living room. I have faith in you. Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean? Up, she kept everything. I should have everything. And finally, Is there anything I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. Okay. Oh, uh, it's just for to pick. Okay. Okay, there's more memories here. Uh, when we were... Over here? Is it outside? You're outside. Steady now. Take your time. He's not gonna jump up and do the cha-cha. What about me? I wanna clean the fish too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh. Only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Allison, when we're done with this half, you can take over and do the other one. That sounds fair. Yes. Mm -mm. You're right. I was kind of being a brat. Mm. Hey, Allison, come take a break with me. Okay, okay. Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Huh? Uh. Okay, choose. What? Let's choose tea. Earl Grey or chai. Your call. I'm fixing myself a good old cup of joe. Ah, a nice pot of wakey wakey juice. Papa needs his rocket fuel. <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh. Did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. <laughs> the Ice King. Wait, who? Really? For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah, you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. Oh. I, get to that. I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. Think they're all still in the kitchen drawer? We should go take a look. Okay, Tyler. Well, I don't know. Oh, you wanna take a look? <laughs> Come check this out. Allison's first drafts. Right. Cause I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. I can't believe she kept all these. You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. Hey, what? Book of goblins? All right, D-pad functionality, all right? Yeah, there we go. 
Uh, I don't know. Uh, and organized by the moose. I don't know. Um. Index, let me see. The Book of Goblins. Uh, what? The Bear and the Princess. Hmm. The beaver. I think the beaver is the um, Tessa. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna guess. Uh, let's go back. So, so, what? What? What happened? What happened? Did you choose? Why you choose? What? What? Why is it? Oh, no. Yeah. This is a beaver. <laughs> oh, yeah, now what? Wait. Huh? Oh, Are we still alive? Oh! Oh my god, let's just put them in a place. A pelican has bounty. You go here. Yeah. And then this. This one. Mm, this one. Yeah, right? Oh! No, 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 no. It's, 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 it's. Wait, let's take a look. The bear was the most helpful one. He was always around. Stalking oh. her? What? No. I mean, he was kind of always there, lurking. You done? Allison, right? No. Yeah, so I get, can we swap it? Swap. That's it. That's it, right? What? It's not right? Oh my god. Goblin. The goblin's trick with the muskrat. The dice roll. The pelican forgives the goblins. The mad hunter gets his hand back. Look, we have to look. Uh, sorry, okay, look. Hmm. Pelican. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah, but there was always a catch. You stumped? didn't do him justice. Hmm. Justice? Kind of ironic, huh? Considering he was the lawful good one? Too bad the law isn't really just. Okay. 
Oh, show you Tyler. Oh my god, this is tricky. <laughs> Tyler. Am I here though? No, no boy. Ah. Okay, let's show you Tyler. Alright, I think I'm done. You sure? You sure? Uh, yeah. Oh! Yeah, definitely. How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. What? Huh? I can't. What? Wait. Huh? These ones? Oh my god, I'll look at them too. Uh, all right, let's look at these. Look. Yep, totally Marianne. Why a princess, though? Why not a queen? She hated authority. Yeah, she'd have been a terrible ruler. These specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought provoking. Indubitably. Hmm. Uh, okay. It's a mad hatter. Yeah. Huh? Wait. Any more images? Okay. A to another. You better hurry, or the mad hunter will get us! We need to hide. This way! <gasps> What's. What's going on? Wait, what's that? I... I don't know. I, is he here? Is he really here? I don't know. I'm scared. Go away! Yeah! Whoa. Go back to the forest! What's this? Huh? I forgot about that. We'd been pretending he was there. And then... Suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? What? Allison? No. <laughs> Wait. It Bad felt Adam. way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Uh, Great. Hello? Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Ahoy, goblins! I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting the cleanup on the house this morning, so, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. Oh, uh, also got something for you, Tyler. Every man needs a good knife. There you are. Thanks, Sam. Good. Good, yeah. Oh, and before I forget, for the lady of the house. It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. That fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh, I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20 some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Boxes in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you.
Well, I guess old bears can learn new tricks. <laughs> yep. Come on. Let's go get our electricity back on. So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built Don't this here me. farm for your mama. Well. You really helped her out, huh? Now, oh, you know, just a few chores here and there. I was, I was glad to help. Your mother, she... No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that darn key. The what? Is the key over here? Oh. Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh, figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning. It was a bit temperamental. <sighs> Haven't you been taking care of this place? <sighs> you didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son. Give me a try. I'm good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little... <laughs> No oh, shit. All right. Fuses go into plugs. Should be what? easy enough. Uh, wait, wait, what? No, no, fuck it. Not to read, right? Uh, maybe? 30, 20, 15, okay. Right. Let's take a look. Look at what? The whole jam needs to be replaced. Nah, just need to sand that part down. We could refinish the whole thing, but... Wait, what? That's a lot of work for a whole door. Can I say? Not to overload the circuits. Pass me that handle. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh, oh 15 years. Shit. Oh. What happened? You okay? Uh, yeah. Oh. Just, uh, okay. Just a bum okay, knee. Cool. I uh, wrecked it playing ball. Uh, ball. All right. Football? In college? High school. Best damn oh, fullback God. around. Color coded? Until, okay. Until I got hurt. Damn. That's mm. rough. Okay. Let's try this one. Okay. Confused. Hmm. Those seem okay. to be working just Let's fine. See. Which one? Problem must be the latch. Uh, no shit. It's covered in rust. Eh, nothing a little salt and lime can't fix. Mm. Salt and lime? It's a door latch, not a bottle of cheap tequila. <laughs> Said. Mm. Sure could go for a margarita right about now. A margarita? Really? Hey. Okay, it's like this one. old Sam like likes to feel fancy. Why well, is not. It's kind of tricky. Oh, I almost had it. Okay. Wait, what? Looks like this one. Oh my god. Here, hold this. I want to get a look at the spindle. Shouldn't we get this cleaned up before we put it back together? I just want to check something. Hey, uh, you two got any, uh, bear insurance? What for? You and your gun are always around. Oh, oh not always. And you can't fend off a bear with smart ass remarks, you know? We're not getting a gun, Sam.
Wait, that's not right. Sure Wait. Hey, I'm moving at my own pace. I need to know this stuff. All right. Women, huh? Don't do that, Sam. Uh, did you read the note next to the box? Oh my god. I'm trying to. I'm at 20 amps. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Ugh, there's mold everywhere. Well, don't stick your nose in there. Shh. Like it's a goddamn bouquet. Mildew's always a problem with these doors. Okay. They're on the north side, so no sunlight. Sounds like the builder really screwed that up, huh? <laughs> hey now, um. watch yourself. We just need to clean it with turpentine, right? And borax? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably ought to blow dry it too. I usually air out the barn much as I can. And oil in the spring. Linseed? Hell no. That stuff's a hatchery for mold. Teak is what you want. It's quite tricky. Oh, right here. Oh, come on. silver bit it needs to be forced back onto the brass bit that's probably what was jamming it in the first place <laughs> probably so you got a good head for this stuff yeah well you're not the only person who okay. needs to fix stuff around here damn it i guess i should try a higher amp fuse now, careful you don't put a low amp in a high amp plug <laughs> that's a fire just waiting to happen just do the math allison i'm not doing math <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Okay. Huh. Don't budge. Is there any three in one oil in the barn? Nope. You'll have to pick some up at the Vecchi's. Anyways, see how loose the bolt is? Strike needs to be replaced. Does that mean you can't fix the door? Um, yeah. Not today. So much for an easy fix. Okay. Hmm? Seems good. Okay. You damn fool. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um, that about? No. It's Eddie. He got his hands around her? Oh, okay. Oh, so he's a major character, Eddie. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh oh, look at that. Man, I know. Man, I know. Preda rep. What's that? Preda Wolf what the? Ew, what? Do what? not. Spill it on your shoes. Okay. I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> hey, it was not funny. Sure thing, B-boy. The beer. Hey there, little buddy. This is very on a frog. Hmm. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. A little super sharp here. Wow. Alright, yeah. Okay. 
She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. I wonder what she planned to make with that. Maybe a car? Ooh, or a tank. Hmm. Anything else? That's it. Oh, I'd be. Hmm. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. What are we gonna do with this wreck? Take it apart and sell the scrap. Mm. It's been rotting in here for a decade. I don't think there's anything salvageable. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, what's this? Allison, oh, no, do you know who this is? Hmm? What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen oh. other pictures of her, but Carol. never this one. Man, Eddie's look mom. at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow! broken. Ow! What the Are hell okay? dropping stuff? It stings. Let's go see Mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. Introducing some new characters. You think maybe Eddie's the father? No. But I won't see that. I feel Eddie. something strong. It's oh, making God, my God. teeth tingle. tingle. Follows the memory. Come on, it's gonna get infected. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could oh. you do this to me? What? Shh. Look. I had to make the call. What? No! What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but... I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. There's more. I can feel it. Okay, 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 Tyler. These different memories you choose? Uh, uh, okay, okay. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne... <sighs> I said get out! Out! What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Uh... Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann, I'm sorry. Please just go. I don't think she How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory is a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. 
And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? I don't know. I have no idea. We shouldn't jump to any conclusions. Look, I know he took care of you. But that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne. Even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? Goddamn hypocrite. Get out. All right, so tell her. Get out of here. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here. Get off my property right now. So, we agree. Brown came out here and bullied Marianne the same day she attacked us. And then lied about it. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Support your family. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. believe Brown lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Oh, it's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. Hmm. I'll just go stretch my legs then. Right. No. I need to stretch my legs. Just give me a sec. Okay, Tina. What's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hun, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. And it's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. <sighs> Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? All-cash? Take it. Let's do it. Do it. Yeah? Oh my god. Yep. Great. I'll oh my god, I messed up. I messed up. <laughs> Get greedy. Wait, can we backtrack? <laughs> maybe, maybe we can backtrack. Uh, but you know what? I need a. Uh, let me see, what can I do? Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Is that? Oh, okay, I'm right back. Just gonna, um, uh, go to the restroom.
Okay, I think I'm back. Uh, let's see. Okay. Hope my mic. Okay, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> All right, great, great, great. Okay. All right, let me pause menu. Yeah. Oh, it looks incredibly short. Okay, uh, I think I made a mistake. Can I? I don't know. Let me see. What? No, we can't. I don't think so. Okay, well, made out a decision. Okay. <laughs> made a mistake. Okay. I agree. What's that X thing? What the heck? Can't. Alright. What? What do you have to do? Where's. Where'd he go? Where's my twin? Oh, we can't walk over here. Okay. Oh shoot, let's see if we do first person. Let me see. Go to show advanced objects. Go to main under you object. Oh. Go to objects and now it's on. That's your camera. Okay, you can. Okay. Uh, let's go like this. Alright. And then we can move her back over here. I can't see. Oh my god. That's right. Wait. Let's go. Where she's like. I guess. Let's move off here. Come back here. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> okay. Oh, I see. We're walking. Alright. First person. I'm so engrossed in the story. What's that noise? Why are you over here? Okay, it's better. Okay. But now she's over here. See screen door. Well, let's check out. Uh huh. Examine. Boat. D and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. Any more? That's it. Okay, B. Wait, why can't I leave? There's more? Whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The bears? Um, it's gonna be important. Okay. Alright. Is that it? And we've got one, two, I think that's it. Okay. okay. Trusted neighbor. Okay. Wait. It goes weird. Oh my god. Okay, maybe not. Um, wait, let's check one real quick. Um, it's kind of dim. Okay. Be alert for beers. Oh shoot, one face beers. Even beers. Wow, it's a light from the distance. Wait, no. Uh huh. Beer encounters are frequent during Salmon Run, May to October. Exercise extreme caution along all rivers, local trails, viewpoints, and glacier roads. During autumn, bears move to higher elevation. Visions to feed on berries and den for the winter. Do not feed the bears. Never hike alone. Always carry pepper spray when hiking. Uh. Wow. Okay. If 
fight back against the beer. Let's fight back. Alright, my face of beer. It's in. The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Dorian. Kinda rings a bell. Dorian. Hmm. Is it the guy from uh, that gas station? Okay. Right. Hey. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? Uh, I feel like yes. I've been here before. Been? Yeah. First person view of the last. Oh, okay. There we go. What's oh, bridge? Wait, I want to stand up. <laughs> Let's see. Whew. Let me reorientate myself. Okay, is this the height? Okay. <laughs> she scares me when she. <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, uh, alright. Let's sit down. Um, let's talk. So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that <laughs> Tina. Alright, it's out of focus. What'd she need? Okay, again. Yeah. When you do first person, it, um, kind of messes up the cutscenes. See? Alright. Zoom. Well, we have an interested buyer. Tina's gonna show him the house day after tomorrow. Oh, great. Apparently he'd be paying cash, but he's Maybe. just in town for a few days, yeah. so. We have to move on. Mm. I mean, we're not signing anything in blood. It's just a showing. Yeah, okay, cool. I know. All right. Just Look, showing. we both need this money, and it'll take at least a few weeks, right? There's plenty of time to figure out all this Marianne stuff. It's yeah. fine. You did it. It's done. Let's move on. Oh, he's not happy. <gasps> so, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded he like it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to Eddie. rub it in! He doesn't get a pass just because this is uncomfortable for you. I'm not giving him a pass. It's just... Hard. This Definitely whole damn situation is hard. Is you think yeah. I liked learning all that shit about Tessa? This town, these people, yeah, I don't see. they're just it's memories small, to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. Where'd you go? And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. Yeah, Tom. You seem pretty eager to ditch all those friends and family, Allison. Apparently a cash offer is all it takes. I'm ready to move on. But that doesn't cash. mean I want to burn every bridge on my way out. from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. So, you really want to live somewhere super secluded like this? Alone in a cave? Speaking for the trees? I do. Mind talk. Is it really that hard to imagine? Oh yeah? Who do you think's gonna come visit you out there, in the middle of nowhere? Well, I was hoping you would. Hmm. There's a reflection you see on the, uh, the ice between them. Not bad. Kind of dull, but... Okay, uh, so what, what, what do you do? 
You feeling that, Ty? Yeah. Remember. This is a... Remembers this. Found you! North Star! Okay, now you're the star and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. <laughs> I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> you were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. <laughs> it was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. Hey, I really am sorry I gave Tina an answer without talking to you first. Yeah. It's okay. You probably made the right call. You can still stop. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come, but maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. Okay. Look at that. Coastal fog's taken over the summit. Hmm. It's a perfect day for a spooky hike in the woods. Too bad we have to get the house ready for the showing. Here, this is a secret passage. Oh, she makes snows. Here, did a heart. Russ. Okay. <laughs> Find one of those collectibles. Oh, God, I I'd love to be able to make something like this. Come on, you're a great artist too. I'm nowhere near this level. You need to stop selling yourself short. Okay. Can we walk? Mm. What? Can we walk down? Hey, 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 look at that. In a few weeks, you'll be able to climb to the top of that waterfall with an ice pick. I know it's not the best trait for a park ranger, but I'm super freaked out about rock climbing. So low. No way. You've never been afraid of heights. What is Except when I'm dangling from a tiny metal hoop off the side of a mountain, hundreds of feet off the ground. What? Oh, that's where he came from. Okay. I think maybe we find some of those collectibles. Right, I'm back here. And that's all. Okay, that's why as we can go. Okay, okay. I bet there's one hidden in somewhere. So. Let's go back here. And now look up. Look! Remember that time both the bridges collapsed? Yeah. It was a week before they got the roads reopened, and Sam had to bring us supplies with his boat. It felt like our house was on a deserted island, but way colder. Okay. That's good. Hey! Look what I found! What? Oh, hey, Ollie and Alice. Oh. Aha! I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. Update.
What are you doing? What I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. Hmm. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, yeah. Denise, Denise, Tyler. Hi. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be- Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. Hey. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. Vincenzi. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Oh, Tyler. Man. You don't have to whisper. You're in my head. <laughs> right. Apparently Eddie's not in a great mood, so what we said outside goes double. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you two were going to be knee-deep in trash for a few days. A few days? That's optimistic. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out of thin air. Years? Huh. Yes. You got my sympathies. When we emptied Linda's parents' house, oof. Claire no, Brown was last home. seen. How is Linda? I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school as the librarian. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so. <laughs> I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh, yeah. Happy as any it's teenager who's got to spend extra out. time with his mom. Oh, oh I guess it's I'll let you work. Eh, no worries. You're not a bother. Did you choose who? Oh, yes. Dr. All... Torres, you said your daughter was with you during the incident? Mm -hmm. Yes, she was. I'll need her information, too. Can you give me her name and date of birth? Okay. Isabel Tyler Ronan. Ronan. Good to see you again. You've gotten tall. That usually happens between ages 11 and 21. <laughs> yeah, uh, Does she live with you uh, the time? welcome home. No, her father has primary custody uh, because of my hours. She stays with Thanks. It's been a while. So, what brings you two around? Um, we're here to see Chief Brown. Oh boy, what do you do now? Suspects wanted for a felony. Oh, well, don't forget to read him his Miranda rights. So is there anything I can help you with? Busy day around here? Well, the fire alarm went off three times in the span of an hour this morning. <laughs> I thought the chief was going to rip that alarm right off the wall. All right. I'm sorry. Select? No, I don't. says here you work at Cottonwood Hospital? That's right. That sure is a good you. It certainly is. What's your usual working hours? I'm a surgical resident at one of the only hospitals in Southeast Alaska. I'm basically always on call. Ah, yeah, of course. But listen, we really appreciate you coming in after a 24-hour shift. Did you need something, Allison? Uh, yeah. Tyler, shall we? Oh, he's shaking above my head. 
Okay. Okay. Let's look at this and that. Mailbox bandit investigation confirmed location. Could you go through the full details of your morning with me, Dr. Torres? Of course. Uh, missing mail. I woke up at five and oh, got ready for work. Okay. Isabella's father was coming over to pick her up at 6.30. So I woke her up at six. I made okay. breakfast. And as we were eating, I realized I hadn't grabbed the mail the night before. Oh, Isabella no, asked to come with me. So I helped her into her coat and boots before we went out. We stepped outside. It was still quite dark, but she thought it anyway. Someone, something hey. was going through our mailbox. My hey, he speaks. How's Delos treating you so far? Isabella is certain of what she saw. She says, um, uh, it's been good to see Allison. She's been talking nonstop about you lately. I know she's happy to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. Uh... Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts... Man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I um, mm. volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, JCE? lead group talks when I can. D. Wilson. Okay. Oh, what? Uh, what's the JCE? What's the JCE? JCE? You know, Juno Coalition for Equality. Oh. Juno. Oh. Uh. Do people around here know? No. So keep it under your hat. You know how it is know. out here. Yeah, for sure. Anyways, sorry for the rant. Where's Isabella? Well, you see, the skin pours. That was it. Can I get Mr. Henderson's information from you? I think Tyler, okay. you ready? Yeah. Uh, of course. Police stuff. This is good police stuff. There you go. Okay. Oh, it, it's super clear. Look at her here. Mm. Okay, yeah. yeah. It's 3D. is stereoscopic. So when they move at you, it's like it's coming at you. Chat? Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go back here. Uh, uh, Chief Brown's taking a statement, but you might be able to snag him when he's done. Okay. 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 Uh, let's move forward. <laughs> right here. All right, let's go. Tyler, okay. you ready? Oh. Okay, you know what? Okay, let's get out of this thing. I'm going to interfere with the um, <clears throat> cutscene. That's off. Morning, Chief Brown. Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? Doctor. <sighs> What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. <clears throat> Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? Of course, Miss Torres. Where were we? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home.
Okay, first let's get something to drink. Oh, I need tea. Two up, two over there. Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's <laughs> fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, Mother Nature's juice cleanse. And there's a bathroom just past the break room. Behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. Uh, you know, Greg's was talking about a fire drill earlier. Are there any kind of fire exits? Oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby. Now. Okay, I'll go here. Oh, the bathroom. I'll be finally get to... Uh, this is a note. Okay. That's it? Alright, let's go. Oh, the map. There we go. All right. Let's see. Ground floor. Look. Oh. Uh, you are here. Main entrance. Okay, we're here. All right, so we're going left. Okay. All right. You move now? Let's go. You head now? Uh, uh, what? Uh, oh, whatever. Oh! Uh, yeah. Gotta get going. Later. Who's else? Should be on the other side of the building. Oh, I thought it was that side. Not that side. Wait, maybe the right eye. Uh, who's kooky enough to bike to work in sub zero weather? That would be Vincenzi. He's got a bike for every season. Names him too. Uh, what's this one called? Duncan Rocket. Sir. So that mailbox bandit struck again, huh? Apparently so. Those garbage cans are like the opposite of bear-proof. You know, it's actually really unhealthy for animals to eat our trash. Simmer down. We don't have time for a ranger rant. <laughs> supposed to be Greg's. Oh, yeah. Well, no one knows for sure, but the resemblance is uncanny. Who's the artist? Cold case. Okay. Something to walk on. It's right behind me. Okay. okay. It opens. There. Fire exit. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Got a better idea? Not really, no. Right, let's go. Okay. 
make a commotion or something. Someone's climbing the fence. Really? I can pretend they're outside, trying to break in. Uh, all right. That's, that's really. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. Man. What happened? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Just leave that there. How's he down? Oh, he opened the door. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, I'm in position. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase will be right there. Hey, we luck. Look, the Same. police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events. volunteered to help. And since he pretty much knows everyone, and more importantly, who's called the cops on who, he's in charge of the seating chart. If Eddie catches us in here... There's no turning back now. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Anything else we can look at? Uh, it's a note. Let's put the Vecchies next to... Can you not? I don't, I don't get it. What's up that? You will what? You will find enclosed your and what? Your invitation? Letter for the annual so, um, social. As usual, I've included a ID on the what? On the home? I, I wanna read that. Huh? <laughs> uh wait, yeah, I wanna look at that. that. Let's put the Vecchies next to oh, okay. Can no, you no. not? I believe I want to see it. Yeah. Right. Come on. Personnel files, department budgets, but zero case files. Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. And saying that here makes me feel even worse. 
Okay. Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's Winner. a genuinely good person. Okay, okay. And saying that here makes me feel even worse. What's this? Are you then other than me? A to look. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah? What's this? Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Six, six, six. A to Z. Huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. Finally. This guy has a record, and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. Resume, Donald M. Mert. Uh, equipment maintenance. Construction of sandwiches. Okay. Okay. Uh, Jews? Use what? Seriously? You're gonna try to hack into his computer? Uh, we're here for information. And computers are basically in for whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? I don't I don't know. But there's a reference number. R68653. So you can find the paper originals in the archives. Okay. Who? Thomas? T Harper Thomas. I forgot who Thomas is. Uh let's go back. One of his emails no. mentioned the archives. Oh, That's on. gotta be where our file is. <laughs> dinner. Huh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. Whoa. Implicit bias train. Implicit bias. Randy. A P C C. Do you know? Doctor Wilson, not your mom. Oh, why? Uh, what? Is that the lady of the reception? Okay, that's it. Let's go on. Okay, uh, I think that's it. Alright. Uh, Alright, what's this one? Huh? General Discharge. Donald M. Mert, Private First Class, Regular Army. Mert. Alright, alright, that's it. Okay. Uh, alright, that's it for now. Alright, can we leave? I think we can stop, 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 stop. stop. Look, go away. Okay. Oh. That reference number is a good place to start. How old is Brown? 38. Oh, wow. Graduated really young. And it's officer to ever join the GCPD. Uh, okay. we're not done sleeping. We got that. Leave my memories. Oh, we need a code for that. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then, how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. Keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. What? Seriously? Go on, try. Dum da dee do. How did that tune go again? Dum da dee do. Dum. 
What? I, I don't understand. This. That's oh, it's dumb. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, we You're pressing the wrong numbers. Oh my god. Dumb. Oh my god. You're pressing the wrong numbers. Is it dumb? Uh, oh my god. Okay. The first two seem to be right. Seem to be right. Any hints? Can you say that again? Uh, it's, it's, it's the, it's the, I know it's dumb da, right? <laughs> it's dumb da. What was it again? Can you tell me? What was it? What was that song? What are you looking at? I need that. I, I need help. You're not going to help me. Wait. I guess we should look up that reference in the archives. Oh, what was that quote again? Wait, maybe there's another one. Oh, read. Read what? What? Oh, come on. Is that a clue? How did that tune go again? Dum da dee do. Oh, okay. Wait, it's actually really hard to, to look at this way. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me go this way. Wait, how come I can't move it? Oh, you moved my head. Okay, okay. Wait a moment. Oh, I think I, I think I. You're pressing the wrong numbers. Okay. like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort mm. everything. Great. They've digitized Probably their closed hot. files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. Wow. A room of scattered case files and a half-done sorting system. I see a lot of like... Yep. This is gonna like be so fun for you. Like I'm shine. gonna go keep a lookout. That's pretty cool. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Because blinks. if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R68653. Look what? It up. Look it up, she says. 
Okay. R6. Oh my god, more puzzles? Alright, uh, 4,990. Hey! How do you select it? This is it. Wait, the both R5. Six, this is it, right? Okay. No, that's not it. Okay, okay. I bet we get a trophy if we get everything wrong, but. Okay. I, think, I think I found it. It's kind of hard. Nope. Are you finding anything? Yeah, right. This is it. Oh my god. Uh just give me a minute. It's a mess in here. Come on, we need to hurry. Here we go. Looks like a step by step record of the investigation. Someone's blacked out. Oh, read? Okay. Uh, it's hard to read this. <laughs> I think I have to stand up to read. I can't. Okay, it's better. <laughs> 2235 notified by my, oh, by my partner, Officer Christian. Holt of accident at 12 Cannery Road. Those goes to AK7. White female identified as Mary Ann Ronan. Date of birth, uh, July 8, 1964. Falling over deck into lake audio required tape. Uh, Brown Holt and I arrive at the scene. Briefed by Patrol Officer J. Chan of incident, Brown located witnesses. Miners named redacted. Running and miners named redacted. Running. Their birth March 7, 94. Children of Mary Ann Brown. Couldn't get a statement from them as they were under dire stress and shock. The children were taken under care of Patrol Officer J. Chan. Brown, uh, uh, Corona Investigator T. Dickens arrived at scene. Roll, Prince of Victim. Crime Lab Tech over Tully at scene. Completed photographs of scene and recovered an unlicensed Rassler 3121 shotgun. Bullets recovered from location. So far, I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. Connor took possession of Bond by cleared scene Brown, interviewed children at station, stated that after Ronan's hair was cut short by sister, Ronan, Mary and Ronan threatened Ronan with a gun. When Ronan fled from her, she pursued the child at the dock. Ronan stabbed Ma Ronan, who was still threatening the child before falling over into the water. Witnesses state they called 911 shortly after. Brown can canvassed the crime scene. Did not recover. Did not recover a pair of scissors claimed by Ronan. Brown presented this case to DAB, who was charged 
brought into a homicide. But she was stabbed in the back. There he is. Wait, what? Wait. Oh my god. What is it again? Okay, I need to check out 05 R62 766. How can a kid have enough power, strength to kill? Okay. Both surrounded, one stab wound held loin. Scissors by daughter. Okay. So there's a cover up. Bloody frock seen in mouth and cerebral edema. Racial on drugs. Water lug bones. Distended stomach. Three inch clean stab wound left loin. Okay, appears uh, fresh water inhalation. Death by drowning. What? The normal blood. Regular skin alcohol? Okay. Hmm. What? Okay. Oh, you, oh, you look at me like that. Well, wow, that's cool. Wait, no. I 
choose the water. Okay, now what? Okay. Uh, R... R61. References 05 R61 towards the lake, calling for help. Mary Ann followed, still armed, out onto the dock on the southern side of the property. Hearing the noise, witness Ron and also came out of the house towards the dock where she observed uh, Ron and under threat from Mary Ann, defend themselves by stabbing mother with a pair of scissors. At that time, both witnesses state mob Ronan lost consciousness and fell into the lake. At 2229 Dallas Crossing Police Department Officer Christian Holt uh, received a phone call from Ronan detailing the incident. Uh, Patrol Officer Jay Chan was dispatched to the scene upon arrival. They set up a containment of the scene, began a crime scene log, and started tending to both juveniles and minors of okay, Ronan. Cedar statements of further description, notification of detectives. God. Tell him you need to talk in his office. What does that mean now? I don't know what I mean. Does that have to use the clues? Oh. Are you recording? Dallas Crossing Police Department. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello, I can hear you. 
It's my mom. She she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! Ah, uh, right. Uh, that's something. Okay, uh, we'll back. Is that it? I think I'm still... I still need to search? Okay, okay. What the? Been there. Oh, it's a check. I've already seen this one. Okay, oh my god, I don't know. Um... Okay, okay. Oh, court order. Five R sixty three three twenty five. Oh, there we go. Okay, here it is. Well, that's a picture I definitely don't want to keep. Minor under 18 years of age, order for detention or placement. Uh, hearing held on March 16, 2005. Having found probable cause to support the pending petition, or the minor having been determined delinquent or in violation of probation conduct agreement, the court finds by preponderance of the evidence that detention or placement outside the home of a parent or guardian is necessary to protect the minor or others. It is ordered that the minor is committed to custody of the Division of Juvenile Justice uh, for detention in a locked or secure facility, such as Fiery Residential Center for Troubled Youth. DJJ has discretion to release the minor without further court order. The above is supported by the oral findings entered on record and contained the clerk notes, or as otherwise noted below. Order for detention or placement recommended on effective date March 18, 2005, Superior Court Master A. Benjamin. Superior Court Judge Erica Wright, I certify that on a copy of this order was sent to DJJ Minor Attorney Parent Card. When I move the pages, I guess D pad functionality, which we don't have D pad here, but the MetaQuest 3, we can do it. Is that it? Oh, my God. It's very deep. Here. Ah! Children at Eddie Brewer. Is that the police officer? References 0501COMBBR. Should go here. There it is. Hey, take it, take it. Unbelievable. Brown reported Marianne to Child Services. What? Where are you? What's going on? Delivery successful. What do you mean? Uh, Edward. Uh, oh, 
Death report. Plus child ne neglect. Okay, I need to check out 2005201546. No, I saw something over. Is this one? Not this one either. This one? I forgot. Where was it? I don't think it's this there. One. Oh. Wait, what the hell? Depth shoplifting. Test, test. Okay, I thought it was Tom. Okay, so. Okay. Any more? Any more. Just scroll. Okay, there's more to scroll. Okay. Uh, when? February 1st, 2005. Okay. Oh no, January 31st, 2005. Of approximately 10:45 hours, Mary Ann Ronan entered Benny Vitti Vici, owned by Thomas and Tessa Vici. Mrs. Vici stated that she observed Ronan browse the aisles for approximately 10 minutes while chatting distractedly with her. Mrs. Vici stated that she was behind the cash register and did not have a direct eye contact on Ronan at all times. Vici stated that after those 10 minutes, Ronan asked Vici if she had any organic mosquito incense in stock. Vici informed Ronan that she did not, but stated she believed that this demand was odd due to the winter season. Ronan then left without purchasing anything else. Vici stated that after approximately 5 minutes, she walked back through the aisle where Ronan had been and discovered a missing box of detergent. Vici states that she had very recently restocked the shelves and no one else had been in the store that morning. Vici stated that she had suspected Ronan of shoplifting before in the past, notably while in company and possibly with the aid of Ronan's two children. Richie, Vici stated that she also had reason to suspect Ronan to be guilty of child neglect. They don't eat and are exposed to all kinds of inappropriate influences. Vichy believed it is possible some form of abuse may be occurring in the home. Okay. I need to get moving. Is that it? Any more? Shit. I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. Get out. Uncle, I... We didn't mean I'm to- I'm not going to repeat myself. I just gonna stop You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it! Oh. H hey! Just been Get off me! You'd rather spend the night here? Come on! I said don't fucking touch me! Go on! And consider yourselves lucky your family. You're right. Family. And for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Yeah, wow. Why did Tessa? Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to talk.
It's very clear. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Delos Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. You know, I'm, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. You're saying Tessa reported our mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. Right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. So you took her word for it and called child services? Failure to provide adequate food? Lack of appropriate supervision? Inattention to a child's psychological care? Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit! Just following the law, then. Right. Is that why you came over that day? The day she died? To warn her about social services? <sighs> she loved you two so damn much. She deserved a chance. I... I didn't see it coming. She... I don't know. Right there, she... must have decided it was over. I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best, and I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. I'm open to getting there, but it's gonna take some time before we're a big, happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust. But you've got a place here whenever you need it. <laughs> well, no, I really feel like an asshole for tossing that ring. You're kidding, right? Okay, I think it's a good time for us to make our exit.
Which means that by the time I drink one, it'll be afternoon. I can't be expected to enjoy my full pork sandwich without a cold one. Are we still on for lunch tomorrow? Yeah, sure. I'll text you. Allison. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa? Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she... Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Where is everybody? Tessa's gotta be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. Hmm. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. I stopped to take a leak just as I was finishing up. What do I see? A big old bull goes staring me down. So what do I do? I grab my odd six. Maybe I should pick up some for Allison? And you shot it? Yes, sir. Wait, you said you were near Crystal. Oh, hey, guys. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Oh, hey, Tyler Ronan. Huh. Exactly. We keep bumping into each other, don't we? What were you guys Honestly, talking about? I don't think you'd be interested. Alexander. Alexander. You haven't seen him in a long time, so uh, I gotta go. You two just can't stay away, huh? Unfortunately. We're looking for Tessa again. Well, she took off about half an hour ago. Sorry. Is Tom busy? He's been in the office all morning, so who knows? But it's Tom, so it's probably safe to interrupt him. Hmm. Do you know if Tessa's gonna be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Tom, you're talking about him. Doing some shopping? Mm. Just looking for the woman who runs the place. The shopkeeper's wife? Can't say I've seen her around. So, I, I heard you were shooting moose outside your permit area. Not really any of your business now, is it? Come on. I'm not gonna report you. But it's a shitty thing to do. I think it's time to finish up your shopping and move on, brother. Yeah. What? I'll do that. Okay. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. wow, so cool. um. I thought you were working at the diner today. No, I switched just because I wanted to get some sleep. But it turns out I was also scheduled to work at the store today. Michael, Michael. How do you always end up double booked? Because I'm too much of a badass to read a schedule. 
You're gonna work yourself to death, you know? Yeah, well, I can't really... We could use some of that at the house. A security deposit is gonna be a bitch. Oh, on that subject, we've got someone coming to check out the house in two days. Oh, yeah? Yep, and apparently he'd pay in cash. Holy shit. That's what I like to hear. Come in! What do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife hey. Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I, I should be on my way over soon. Okay. Hello, Tyler. Uh, can I help you? Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something mm -hmm. I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <coughs> Marianne. Okay. Okay. Uh... Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two, to make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely. But I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely. Oh my god. But I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. Okay. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt... resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we mm. went through anything close to what you did, but it was a... Cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Mm. Okay. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so... Mm. Don't be late. Uh, yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who our father might have been? I'm um, not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. Oh boy. Wait. But look, I... Oh, gosh. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I really no, have okay. to go. Okay. 
emergency phone call. Uh, Michael, uh, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Hey, yeah, sure thing, boss man. See you later. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can we just wait for her to come back here? I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. <clears throat> what? 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 Hey. Where'd that question about our father come from? Uh... I've just been thinking about who he might be. And if he knows anything that could help us figure this shit out. Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. Besides, Marianne always said we never had a father. Well, her name might have been Mary, but I don't think she was a likely candidate for Immaculate Conception. All right, let's, let's go. Oh, well, it's open now. All right, I already counted there. But I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the back. Oh yeah? Because you're just that good, huh? <laughs> I mean, it's just counting stuff on a shelf, right? Yeah, let's start with an easy one, all right? <laughs> Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Molto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. Tired already? Uh, all right, all right. Oh, is that purple. the mangy muskrat? The mangy muskrat. Um, right, oh, it's empty. Oh, okay. Like my belly. <laughs> oh, a. This is the look. Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah, <laughs> that's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. And for the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages, but he is very, very hot. Shit, yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father Batista. Yeah, he's got that silver fox thing going on now, see? Yeah, yep, I see it. Oh, I drank this at a party once. It did not end well. Oh, any good stories? I mean, probably. But nothing I remember really makes sense, so... The tomato... Uh, tomato? Okay, let's go... I think it's here. Wait. Is this tomato? Oh yeah, this is it, right? I count... Uh, 15. I'm looking. Whoa. Count. Hold on. Let me count this. Uh, let's see. Uh. There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay. Sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. The bottles of bleach? Uh. And... Where are they at exactly? I thought you had this in the bag. Okay, <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Tessa puts the heavy stuff near the door on the bottom shelves. All right, I think I can work with that. Near the door? No. I wonder what's in that box. I wonder what's in that box. Okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing? 
I I was just remembering the time Allison and I opened up a bag of flour and threw it at each other's faces. We called it a, a summer snow fight. We made a gigantic mess. Marianne was pissed. Mm. Okay. Alright, uh... What is this? This is a glitch. No, this is bleach. Okay. Five. Six? All right. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. <laughs> hey. You remember the ad for this? What was their slogan again? Huh. Something poetic about time travel and life being weird, I think. What? Hmm. Okay. Alright, let's talk. Oh, is this the clue? No? Okay. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on. Look at the hair. Nailed it, right? <laughs> Honestly, it's beautiful. Hey, don't make fun of me. I'm not. Well, maybe a little bit, but <laughs> I like it. For real. Well, it helps to have a good model. So, this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker? I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. Okay. All right, anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Plushies? That box over there. Uh, are you gonna make me beg for specifics? Tempting, but no. See that Bible study poster on the wall over there? That's where you should be looking. Ah, huh. you're too kind. Bible poster? Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> so like yeah. Oh, uh, oh my God. Oh boy. I don't. I can't count. I'm gonna say eleven. Uh, you've got about eleven left in that box. <laughs> Did I get it wrong, Michael? Ouch! What That's the sorry. fuck? Hey, sorry. It was just too tempting. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. <laughs> you have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. Wait, how, how you do it? Oh my god, I don't know how to do this. Oh my god. Oh! Hey, Damn, hey. overshot it. Oh, wow. Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh, yeah? We'll see. Come on, go on. Where are you going? I'm going to wait for you. Hey! Hey! I, come on! Damn, overshot it. Can I move somewhere else? Damn, overshot it. Come on! I always wear it. So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. What? Uh, oh, so I'm good looking company, huh? Yeah, well, don't let it get to your head. I'm still destroying you. Right. Damn, overshot it. I don't think I can do this. 
前に申しましょう。ほんとほんと、目上げて申しましょう。Hey, is it cool that we're throwing these toys around? Aren't you guys gonna like sell them? Nah, supplier made a typo on Vecchi. Can't sell any of them. Cool. No harm, no foul then. Better wrap this up soon. Oh, I don't know. Was it with like, the character match? That's right. Oh my god, that's wrong. <laughs> that's up here. I see him. Ah.、Uh, oh,、hey. right in the face. Oh, <laughs> oh man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, I'll never make that mistake again. Okay. I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here. Let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, alright, cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Okay. <laughs> the bridge. Yeah. Press A. What? I press A. Is something going on? A, A to open. Alright.、Uh, A, 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 A. A, something's wrong. Okay.、Uh, Alright, whatever, what's it? Why won't I change? Gotta go this way. Wait. You can't do anything. Is something going on with the controls? Wait, wait, wait. wait. I, think, I think I did something wrong. Uh. No, no, no. I don't know. Why can't I do anything? Wait, hold on. Let's see. Can I do this? Like that? Sit down and chat with Michael. I'm trying to. There's a glitch. I'm glitching.、Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Let me reset. I must have done something. Reset, reset. Oh, I changed the resolution scale. Happen. Okay, I think.、Uh, I, okay, I'm gonna try it with these. Let's see if it works. Okay, now I'm c o n s c i o u s of the issues. <laughs> Why? Why am I c o n s c i o u s of the issues?、Uh, what's this? This way? Okay. Hey, you still won't sit. Oh, there, there has to be a glitch. This has to be a glitch then. Yeah, it's a full on glitch. Okay, well, maybe we'll see.、Uh, maybe move around, come back, and w h a t Michael's waiting for me back at the couch. Okay, yeah, if you can sit. 
Where's, where's the angle? Uh, yeah, this is crazy again. I'm trying to sit down. <laughs> Okay, you know what? That's it. <laughs> uh, call it quits. Uh, let's see. Oh no, no, what's this? Uh, let's return to the main menu. Okay. Do I have to play that whole thing again? Uh, okay. Great. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this one again. Okay, great. All right, not bad. We played part two of Tell Me Why on uh, MetaQuest 3 Wireless, my 4090 PC. Okay, everyone, take care. Love and peace. Bye.